This is Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by both members of Team Azim, Adam and Hassan Azim. How are you boys doing? Good, thank you. How I'm good, you? thank you. How about yourself? Yeah, yeah, very good, thanks. Uh, we picked out our top 10 ones to keep an eye on for 2022 here at Seconds Out. You're both among that number. Uh, we couldn't really pick one of you and leave the other one out. Um, both <laughs> obviously talked about for a long time back in the amateurs, but now professionals. We'll start with you, Adam, because you, although you're younger by a couple of years, you turned pro first. Um, just tell us, first of all, why you were the first one to, to turn over and what that debut experience was like. Um, you know, the debut experience was uh, great. Um, obviously, we made a few changes with our uh, training. Um, but obviously, now with, I'm with Shane now, then obviously I'm going to get much better. I'm going to be hopefully at the world level quickly as well. And yeah, the, the previous fight I just had, it's just, you've seen a lot of improvement from the first to the second fight. So, yeah. And Hassan, why, why did you wait a little bit longer before you made the, uh, the transition? Um, in fact, actually, um, me and Adam, I actually turned for, for first, but um, because of the pandemic and the, the, all the COVID situation, it's been, it, <clears throat> our fight's been delayed the whole year. Um, but I had my first pro debut a um, couple, couple of weeks ago at the C Arena Wembley with Shane McGuigan. And, um, and I, can't, I can't say it went really, really well and how I planned it to you as well. Training's going well and uh, yeah, it was a good uh, pro debut. He won second in the first round. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't complain. Now with Shane McGuigan, um, obviously in that bustling gym in East London. Just, just tell us why you decided to, and either of you can go first, but why you decided to pick Shane as the man to take you forward? Um, Shane has been with uh, multiple world champions. He's made world champions and he's just one of the best trainers in the UK. So obviously we thought we need uh, the right person to train us. And uh, we, we had Shane McGuigan um, as our trainer now. And he's just going to make us so much better. We've seen improvements day in and day out in the gym and it's, it's going to get even more better. And why, why I like Shane a lot is his style kind of suits me, you know, keeping it long. If I have to come in close, I'll come in close. Um, every shot should land, so precise. And I'm actually, I, hit, I fight like a hitman, so keeping it long, I'm and powerful at distance, I'm also powerful inside. And the Shane training and Shane style is, is, similar to, is similar to that. So um, it kind of connects both ways. So that's why I'm I, I actually want to be with the McGuigan's. And take take it in turns, but if you can just give us a, a brief kind of rundown of your amateur achievements. I've, I've obviously got an idea of them already, but for people out there, just, just tell us everything you won that you can remember. Um, I've won the, the Junior ABA, the Tri-Nations. I won, went on to win in the Youth Championship, the Youth ABAs, the Tri-Nation, the European Silver. I um, came fourth in the world. World Championship, and I went on to uh, Youth Olympic Games in Buenos Aires in, in Argentina, and I won the Buenos there. Won multiple box, box cups, um, but I don't really count that as count that as title. I won the senior in ABC as well. So yeah, quite a few titles I won. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Adam, what have you got? Um, I've won every single national title in, in England. So obviously, I've won ten national titles. I've won uh, every single national title in a row. I've never lost uh, in England. Um, I've won three nations as well, three times. European gold like this, uh, ranked ranked up in the world uh, as amateur, and yeah, and also won European silver as well. So yeah. Do you guys still spar each other now? You're with Shane, or do you kept apart now? We never did ever spar. We just uh, we never. used to do technical. No, we, we, we did take some technical spars back in the days, um, preparing each other for the amateur fights like the nationals. Um, but um, now when it was, was Shane, the best in the one of the best um, gym in the world, and there's loads of sparring there, loads of quality fighters there. So we don't really we keep everything in house as well. So we got we get the best sparring. So we, we don't really need to spar each other. And let me let me ask you in turn a question about the other brother. So starting with you, Adam, what would you make as Hassan's main uh, strengths? What do you admire about him as a boxer? His main strength is definitely his power. He hits really hard for his weight. And I think once he hits uh, one of them, they're definitely going to go down. Um, also, he's just, he's got a very good IQ and great ability. With, and also he hits 
he's very heavy handed as well. So obviously he's got speed and power and everything put together and he's massive for the weight as well. So And Hassan, the same question to you about Adam. Adam is very, very fast, very sharp. Um, you may think that he hasn't got long arms, but he has long arms. Um, so when you chop a tree down, you know, you, see, you take your time chopping the tree down and at the end, the tree falls over. That's how Adam looks like when he's crying. You know, he, he pops a jab with, with, with both, a couple of shots. You know, it may, may not be a lot, but eventually later on, you'll feel it to the rounds and then right in, you'll fall over. So that's how I see Adam as, that's why his name is Assassin. Uh, he's very, very sharp, very powerful, very slick as well. Good head movements, good footwork as well. And let me ask you both, um, probably a tougher one to answer, but, but I've got to ask because there's always a bit of competition uh, between brothers. Starting with you, Adam. One thing about Hassan that you're you're not too keen on, what, what does he do to wind you up? <laughs> just like, it's normally at home stuff, really. Like, obviously, it's like buying a remote or something. But <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's nothing um, really deep or anything like that. But yeah, we just we have a lot of arguments at home over stupid stuff, but it's, his brothers anyway, isn't it? It's, that's how it is, brother love. Yeah. Hassan, you go along with that. What, what are you fighting over with the remote though? Who wants to watch what? It was, it was actually the extra controller. He's taking my controller actually and uh, and he's got his own one, but I, I just hate people touching my things. So I, I like <laughs> where I, and especially when he's using it, I come home, it's like the battery's almost dead on it. And I wasted I, I want to come home and just play some games and relax and he's always using it. So yeah, it's just over something silly, but that's, that's Adam. That's actually that's what brothers do. It's there to know you. That's something for you to work on, Adam. That's a New Year's resolution. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> now, where do you want to be? We'll start with you, Hassan. Where would you like to be by the end of 2022? What um, steps would you like to have taken? Um, I should have my fights next year. Um, I just want to, you know, take, I'm, I'm going to take my time. So I just want to get, I want to keep in zero in the last. Um, I have gained so much experience you know, before I start going for the big fights. I'm only young, so I'm just going to take my time. And, um, yeah, to keep showing the fans what, what, uh, what I'm made out of. And what about you, uh, Adam? Um, yeah, definitely. I'm going to be on a uh, busy schedule next year. I want to get uh, as many fights as I can. Um, both are going to be going to see a lot of knockouts uh, coming by me. And also, I want to get a small title next year as well. So, that's yes, my plan. I want to, I want to get like a, a small belt or something that puts me up in the rankings. So. And the next appearance for both of you is going to be on the big Amir Khan Kel Brook show. How, how excited are you guys about that? Yeah, it's, it's going to be very great. It's two brothers as well on, on a big platform. Amir Khan versus Kel Brook. Armour Khan's going to beat Kel Brook. Hope, <laughs> um, hopefully, he's going, to, he's going to stop him as well. That's my, that's my prediction. So, um, obviously, I'm a con. I look up to him. He's one of my inspirations as well. So, I was actually, uh, I was actually five years old or six when I when I first watched Army Con at the Manchester Arena. Mm. It was the same place I'm fighting now. It's 14, 15 years later. I'll be fighting in the on his undercard, which is amazing as well. So, yeah, growing up to watch my first fight, I watched was Army Con, and um, you know, being on the undercard is like a, a big thing for me, and. Um, Especially, um, it's a, it's, you know, it's a sold out arena, so when I get to be fine in front of 21,000 people, and then it's just, just a dream come true. And a lot of, a lot of hard work with guys, sports and boxer, for me, just happened. So, um, thank you for them. Um, just kind of wait, I'm really, really excited. And, um, I, I fight better when, when there's loads of fans there. So, yeah, hopefully, it should be a 50, what, 50 second lockup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't give yourself too much to live up to but no i understand before i let you guys go back to you know fighting over various remote controls just drop your socials for us let us know how people can find you on the different platforms uh, adam uh, Azim one is my instagram and yeah adam, adam Azim on my facebook uh, hassan underscore azim on instagram hassan underscore azim 101 on snapchat and uh, TikTok is Hassan Azim, same as Twitter. Great stuff. Lads, really, really appreciate your time. Very best of luck for a prosperous 2022. And I'm sure we'll be speaking again early in the new year. No, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Danny. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.